All right, so um, I really I only like to apply my foundation in the center of my face. Um, uh, and you all can see that this is giving me pretty good coverage. I mean, it's sheer, but you can still my my the areas that I want to be evened out are evened out and um you know i like about it you can see the great yellow un undertone that it has to it which is an absolutely which is an absolute necessity for um i think women of color i mean i know some of us have red undertones we might have blue undertones but um look for the yellow especially if you're um like similar to my complexion I'm going to put a little bit around the eyes. Um, I do have the Bobbi Brown concealer, but I want to see how this works out for me today as a concealer. And um, so far, I'm loving it. I'm going to really see how it looks when I go outside. That's always the true test of whether or not your makeup matches when you go outside. And I'm sure you guys know when you um, shop in those department stores, you need to always look for that. So that's the Bobbi Brown Honey Moisturizing Compact Foundation. I hope you guys like that. And then one of the things that's been a tried and true Bobbi Brown product for me is the Pale Yellow Loose Powder. Um, I love this powder. It it um It's yellow, it's translucent, and I like use it all the time I um, don't like to be without it it's a little on the expensive side but um, it's so worth it it lasts forever and I'm just gonna go over and set my makeup with this Well, you guys have never heard of Bobby Brown, not Bobby Brown the singer. I always think that's just hilarious when people say, Bobby Brown the singer. It's like, uh, yeah, Bobby Brown has a makeup line. Uh, really funny. So um, that's the foundation and the powder. That's the pale yellow loose powder. I definitely add this to your makeup collection. Um, it's one of the best powders that I use. Absolutely. Love it, love it, love it. Um... I'm not doing a whole lot today with my makeup because I'm actually going to be leaving here and going to church soon. So I'm going to try to do this as quickly as possible. You guys let me know what you think about the lighting on this makeup. I added a special light so I'm hoping that that will um, bring out what I'm doing even more. And on a day like today, you absolutely can just do something really simple, just a brow highlight and a liner, which is what I'm going to do. Um, black is like, this is the Smashbox palette. Black is like the safety net and quick, quick one of the easiest ways to bring your eyes out. So, Take your brush and just go as, as close to the lash line as possible. You can go out or up a little bit with the brush. You guys be sure and let me know what other makeup topics and skincare topics that you want to be covered. Um, I was doing an event yesterday and um, I was doing this lady's brow and um, she totally had on the wrong foundation for her skin type. And I just, it was, it, the foundation was so heavy I wanted to like, 
spackle it off. That's how much it was. So I think I'm going to do a video on um, choosing the right foundation for your skin type. Because I just kept telling her, you know, I can tell that there's a beautiful skin underneath there. I don't know if it was, I don't know if it was really sinking in or she was really listening to me, but, um, you know, make sure you have the right foundation for your skin type. Uh, like I said, some people don't even need a foundation. You know, you might just need a concealer and that's, that's good. You know, you're good to go. There are some people that need the coverage. But, uh, you know, I was uh, really wanting to just, like, overhaul whatever that was she had on yesterday. So, that led me to think about doing a video for her. Um, using my MAC Copper Tone Blush, one of my staples. Really just on the apples of the cheeks. And um, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to go to the Bobbi Brown counter and check out the foundations that they have, especially um, again, for my African American women, you need to look at yellow based foundations for your skin type. They have some reddish undertones too, but um, just wanted to let you know what my favorite is. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this video was better quality because I feel like the ones I were doing before, um, the lighting wasn't that great. But always feel free to check me out online at www.rachelodom.net and www.skintherapist.blogspot.com. Leave me your suggestions, your comments, your requests. Have a great day.